Alright, welcome to part three of our mole mash lesson. Part three, we're going to be finishing this application up. We're going to be adding a mole touch handler and we're going to be setting up the reset button. Uh, before we get started though, make sure that your emulator is up and it's running. You want to make sure um, that you can see your um, game and all that. Okay. So go ahead and make sure that's up and just minimize it. We're going to start out by adding that mole touch handler. So in order to do that, you're going to go to my blocks and then select mole. And it's up towards the top. You want to select uh, where it says when the mole is touched, do this. And these can be arranged anywhere. Um, the order of these doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to be, the first thing we're going to be doing is setting up this so that it'll increase the score when the mole is touched. So go to my blocks and my definitions and find where it says set global score to. And then you're going to drag it down and lock it in where it says do. Next thing we need to do is go to built-in and math and we're going to get the addition little bracket drag it on the end there and we're going to add in if we go to my blocks again and my definitions we're going to get the variable for score here and then on this side we're going to get we're going to go to built in and math and get a number and we're going to set that number here one. So basically what we just set up, and I'm just going to move this down so you can see it. When it, the mole gets touched, it's going to set the score to whatever the score variable is plus one. And up here we set the score at zero. So it's going to add, each time it's touched, it's going to add one. So if you change this to ten, it would go by tens, if you change it to 100, your score would go up by 100 each time the mole is touched. Next thing we're going to do is set it up so that the phone will vibrate when it's touched. So you're going to go to My Blocks and go to Noise. And find the one that says Call Noise.Vibrate. And you're going to drag it under your Set Global Score to. And then we need to set how long we want it to vibrate. So go back to built-in and math and go to number and we're going to type in 100. We'll set it to 100. So now the mole when it's touched it'll increase the score and it's going to vibrate. And then the last two things we're going to do, we'll go to my blocks and my definitions. We're going to add our two procedures. So let's get call update score drag it down there and go back to my blocks my definitions and get the move mole procedure so those two we added they're gonna when the moles touch it's gonna update the score and it's going to move the mole so you can go to your emulator and you should when you click on it you should see that the score is increasing now yeah I'm not very good at this with the mouse. It's a lot easier if you actually have it on the phone. <clears throat> but basically you can see that the score is increasing when I touch this dude. Okay. Excellent. Alright, so the last thing we need to do is set up our reset button. And in order to do that, we're going to go to my blocks. And we're going to go to the reset button. And we're going to click on the one that says when the reset button's clicked, do this. Drag that out. So when the reset button is clicked, we want it to do this. You're going to go up to my blocks and my definitions again, and you're going to get where it says set variable score two, and drag that on there. And then go to built in and math and select number and we're going to give it a value of zero 
and then go back to my blocks and my definitions and you want to select the one that says call update score and that's our procedure to update the score so when the reset button is clicked it's going to reset the score to zero and it'll update the score so go ahead and try that out go back to your emulator hit the reset button and as you can see it goes to zero there we go alright so we are finished now with our application if you are lucky enough to have a phone connected go ahead and connect it up if you are so lucky to have an Android phone go to package for phone and do download to the connected phone and what that'll do is it'll put your application on your phone you can go into your applications and now you can play your game that you've created on your phone hope you guys have enjoyed the lesson thank you very much